Everybody take your seats. We all here? We all ready to do it to them? Okay. You know when you're like hot and sweating, uh, so like the tops of your lenses and your glasses start to fog up? I'm just in a perpetual state of that. It's okay though, because I have uh, my chef's uniform. And when you're wearing this, Nothing is a problem. It is a scientific fact. I am one year older, an entire year older than I was since I've been in this kitchen. No, I turned 27. So I feel much wiser. My vision is deteriorating. I feel slow. I get tired easily, but I feel great. For real, I had a wonderful birthday. Thank you guys all for the birthday wishes. But I was very excited to get back into the kitchen and make some new creation. I mean, it's not really creation because most of my videos, I'm just recreating something that someone's already done, but whatever. We're here, aren't we? What's the point in turning around now? There's traffic on the way back. We've come this far, forgot the water. Taco Bell, like many, many people, has been one of our favorite spots to go to when the mood strikes. Maybe when you're hungover or when you're hungover from a night of drinking. I've never had one of the things that Jenna and a lot of people swear is just like the best thing on the menu, which is a Crunchwrap Supreme. And the reason I haven't had it, you guessed it, because your boy's a celiac and I can't have flour tortillas, but it's okay because grocery stores exist and ingenuity exists which I have a little bit of, just a little bit. If you look for like 10 seconds on the internet, you'll find recreations of crunch wraps everywhere. It's a super popular food that a lot of people have recreated in a lot of different ways, some of which have even been plant-based, which is really cool. But I need to take it one step further and make it with some real delicate gluten-free tortillas. Believe it or not, I've never eaten a crunch wrap. And I might be lying because when I was a child, I hadn't been diagnosed with celiac, so I was eating gluten. I don't think I had one, but there's a small chance one might have crossed my path. For the sake of the video and for the sake of my own personal memory, I've never had a crunch wrap. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know what it's like to eat it in that shape. So I wanted to make a crunch wrap for my first ever crunch wrap experience. How many times am I gonna say crunch wrap this video? I don't know. Count it and then take a shot every single time I do it. And then when you pass out, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. A crunch wrap pretty much consists of a flour tortilla, a tostada, ground beef with taco seasoning, cheese, sour cream, nacho cheese sauce, lettuce, and pico de gallo. I'm pretty sure that's everything. The only thing is these tortillas are pretty small, so I might need to use a couple of them for one crunch wrap. The reason why I have my good old friend, the deep fryer out today is because, well, number one, a lot of you guys gave me shit for not frying the potato chips in there. You were like, it's airy season. What are you doing in a pan? Part one of me using it today is that uh, and my insecurities about getting called out again. And the other part is one thing that uh, we like to do when we get Taco Bell is we add potatoes to, personally I get it on the tacos, Jenna gets it on the crunch wrap. Secret stuff there, okay. This might be incredibly ambitious. One thing I wanna get out of the way first is making Lauren Toyota's hot for food nacho cheese sauce because it comes with nacho cheese in the crunch wrap and there, I can, could not think of a better nacho cheese sauce. So calm down, Mr. Fryer. We'll be back in a sec. You are gonna need a slew of ingredients for this nacho cheese sauce. Carrots are a food that I like to eat while I'm cooking, but I never really eat any other time. So you're gonna want white potatoes for the nacho cheese sauce, and you're gonna need one cup of peeled cubed potatoes, but I'm gonna make a little more because we're saving some to make our crispy potatoes that are going inside the crunch wrap. I feel like a crunch wrap is sort of in a league of its own with like what it is. It's not a burrito, it's not a taco, it's not a sandwich, it's just kind of a little bit of everything. All right, so what are we gonna do to these potatoes before we boil them for the cheese sauce? You guessed it, we're gonna wash them. Did you guess it or were you just texting in the back of class? Give me your phone. I'm gonna read your text out loud to the class. God, I can't imagine what it's like being in school right now. Like when I was in school, you know, you'd pass notes and stuff. Nowadays, what, are they gonna like, Oh, you're, t you're on your phone. Let's read your Twitter feed. <laughs> that is just such a nightmare scenario for me. So no thank you on being in school right now. <laughs> Gonna put them right in here. I'm telling you, this is like the most mind blowing nacho cheese recipe ever. Cause the things that you put inside the blender, you're like not at all imagining it turning into cheese, but Lauren Toyota finds a way. And you can hear the, f the burner going behind me because I'm going to not blend these like this. I don't even know why I put them in the blender. I'm gonna boil them. So let's do that right now. I almost fucked that one up. We're pretty much gonna need these to be soft. So you're gonna boil them for, I don't know, like eight minutes. Can I just say, oh my God, dude, special shout out 
to Bob's Red Mill for making packaging with Velcro sealable tops. I've never found a more convenient and satisfying way to seal a bag. That is so nice. Next, we are gonna bless this recipe with some nooch. I'm gonna pour some nooch out for the homies. It's gonna be one tablespoon, but put literally however much you want because nooch is always amazing. You are now gonna have some jalapenos and the liquid that it is pickled in. So you're gonna take six slices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then you're gonna take three tablespoons. Teaspoons or tablespoons? Tablespoons. Okay, so nine, two. Now we need some lemon. So we're gonna pop open this lemon and then realize that our citrus juicer is in the dishwasher. I think about a half a lemon should do it. We do a fourth a cup of oil. It says vegetable, but I'm just gonna use sunflower oil because I really liked Into the Spider-Verse. And then you're gonna put a little pinch of sea salt. Oh, one more thing, tomato paste. Because everyone knows a good nacho cheese sauce comes from tomato paste. good friend gave me this for my birthday. I'm actually gonna mix some of this in with the taco seasoning. I just had this idea. The beef is looking pretty much ready now, I think. Gonna make sure it tastes good. I'm gonna try it now. Mmm. Flavor's perfect. It just needs to cook a couple more minutes. Hello there. So this has been heating for like 20 minutes and it's still cold oil. So I'm thinking the fryer has a problem. Yeah. You want a crunch wrap? Yeah. Well, it's not ready yet. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm sorry. Did I clickbait you? Yeah. I've never had a crunch wrap. I know you love it. Potatoes, cause they're quad, and then no cheese, no sour cream, and then you can eat it like that, or you can take it home and put some cheese and sour cream in it. But you can't have it cause of the gluten. Mm -hmm. You made nacho cheese. Oh yeah, we're doing this thing right, baby. What you want? It's going down. This is Ari's kitchen, baby. You know how we do it to him. You're my girlfriend. Break up with her, boy. <laughs> We're literally just waiting on the fryer now. Oh, this thing slowed up. Break up with her already, I'm bored. I know you're bored, but I'm not just gonna break up with my girlfriend because you're bored. I'm bored. <laughs> break up with her, I'm bored. You're probably not gonna come in that well because my mic is right here. I know I bored. Please help me. Say hi to our sous chef, Peach. What's it all looking like today? What's that smell like? Broken fryer? It's over here. What's this smell like? Lettuce, food you find in the wild, potatoes, cheese. Nope, don't go for the cheese. You're just the sous chef. You gotta keep your mouth off the food. I'll give you some later, I promise. Okay, bye. Our ground beef turned out beautiful, but now we're just waiting for the potatoes. Okay, time to fry, 285 degrees. It doesn't fry here, it's not frying at all. Let's do it. That's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> Hurry up. Hurry up, potatoes. Ain't got all day. I reach a point in like every recipe. Can you see me through this team? I reach a point in like every recipe where I'm just like, you know what? I'm ready to eat it. I don't want to make it anymore. I want to put it in my mouth. So next we're gonna do some origami with this tortilla, or it's gonna feel like origami at least because I'm going to mess it up. But you basically lay the tortilla flat and you're gonna put the meat, the cheese, the hot stuff, then the tostada, then the cold stuff, and then you're gonna like fold each side up. But I think what I'm gonna do is before I fold it, I'm gonna put another tortilla on top so that there's not a big ass hole because this tortilla is pretty small. So ready for these, baby. I'm gonna take this slow. A Little bit of cheese sauce. We're gonna put a little tostada here. Then on top goes the fresh ingredients. Peachy, I'm filming, baby. Pico de gallo. 
And um, the only sauce worth talking about. I'm just gonna put it in there. We might have to make the first one with no potatoes and that's okay. Here we go, time to make magic. So I'm gonna put like the inside circle. Oh, hello. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna turn on this pan and I'm going to fold. Look how sad this tortilla is. Oh my God, this tortilla is so pathetic. I knew this was gonna happen because gluten-free tortillas just suck at life. My God, this is the saddest thing in the world. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on another tortilla and uh, we're just gonna figure this out. Holy crap, I'm fully failing at this. This is gonna be really messy. I'm just really just frying this thing right now to try to keep it, you know, so I could like maybe crisp it enough to where it holds its, its place. I'm gonna also put it in the Crunchwrap bag because when I went to Taco Bell earlier to get the hot sauce, I asked for an extra bag. What does it look like? A Crunchwrap. Failure? No, it looks good. Pretend you took it out of there. No, I have to actually take it out of here. It's a Crunchwrap, we did it, we did it, it's in the bag. Okay, look, here's a regular Crunchwrap for comparison. Is that a regular one? Virtually identical. This is for you, it's the vegan version. Oh! But this is the better vegan version. We're gonna try it right now, are you ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Move, 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 oh move, 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 move. God, that is so unsafe. Why oh, I didn't, open? I didn't put sour cream. Oh. This has gone south very fast. Okay, it's okay. We're gonna cut a little piece. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why don't you attack this with a spoon or a fork? Because this is not in the condition to be handheld. Oh! The gluten-free crunch wrap, baby, turned out great. Mm, oh, so good. Oh, that's so good. Okay, it's so messy, but the flavors are amazing. Is it? Mm-hmm. It's really good. More. Gluten-free ain't pretty and, and beautiful and, and convenient. This is my life, okay? And it's okay. You know we had to crunch wrap it to them. Okay, so it's messy as fuck because the tortilla didn't hold at all and it's tiny. That but be expected. fuck the potatoes. It was really good. I just wish it was, a, it was more aesthetically pleasing because like, man, that was ugly. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, it's one of those recipes that just did not translate, I'm pretty sure, on camera. Okay, dude, um, there's no way I can finish on that note. I need, to, I need to do this even a little bit right. So I actually have a different type of tortilla and I'm just gonna try it again, but I'm gonna try to like trim the edges of the tostada a little bit so it's not as big. So it's gonna be like a miniature version, but we have to do this right. I, we need to do this right. I think I'm still gonna do the strategy where I fill the top with another tortilla. We got the meat. We got the cheese. Now we're gonna put the miniature tostada and the sour cream. No, nope, don't fall. <laughs> this is so terrible. <laughs> All right, so I even put some on the folded part, I even put a little cheese to maybe like glue it down. Oh my God. Honestly, it held its shape. And that is the most important thing. This is the gluten-free and incredibly difficult version of a crunch wrap <laughs> made from plants. Look at all these plants. Okay, time to eat. This is so much more satisfying. The fact that I'm holding this and it is not breaking, like the flavors are there when you're eating it with a fork off of the plate, but this is where it's at. This is a hell of an experience. I see what I've been missing out on. It's legit easier to eat than a burrito. Oh my God. I'm so happy I did it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Well, I couldn't leave you on red with that terrible excuse of a recipe. What, Peach? So I hope this version did it justice. I'm gonna save some for later, but goddamn, I am so proud that I made it through the trials and tribulations of this recipe. Be warned, if you wanna do this gluten-free, it's probably gonna suck. Thank you guys for watching me cook in my kitchen. Um, and I'll catch you next time for hopefully a much less stressful experience. Bye.